Cleaners at London Hospital walk out after contractor fails to pay wages. Here's a summary of the article. Cleaning staff at the first London hospital to treat a coronavirus patient have walked out after an outsourcing firm repeatedly failed to pay them properly. Dozens of hospital cleaners, who are on the front line of the COVID-19 outbreak, walked out of Lewisham Hospital on Thursday but returned to work the following day after being promised that their pay would be corrected. Catering and portering staff joined them in staging a protest outside the South London Hospital on Friday when they realised the money was still not in their bank accounts. Despite reassurance from private contractor ISS that the dispute has not affected the hospital service, Helen O'Connor, an organiser for GMB, said that no cleaning took place at the hospital on Thursday. ISS has denied workers' compensation for the crisis, according to GMB. The union also said the contractor had threatened to withhold the promise of the London living wage being paid with back pay in April if workers protested. O'Connor said, Our members are in dire financial straits as ISS continue to drag their heels to sort out the pay crisis in Lewisham Hospital. Their loyal workers turned up to work today to clean the hospital and make sure the patients are safe. But what they are getting back from ISS is threats and broken promises. The behavior of the ISS top brass is incredible given these jobs are vital to the hospital in normal circumstances, but in the present climate the work they do is utterly fundamental. The error with pay affected a limited number of the staff who moved to a new pay system, after we took over the contract for these services from the previous provider last month. We are extremely sorry that this happened and are reaching out to those staff to apologize in person, and to quickly sort out any pay issues they have. This post received a score of 20,423, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I don't know what they expected to happen. Did the contractor think these people were going to work for free? This is the underbelly of the NHS. Hospitals need cleaning, dot all the time. Get them on the main payroll. The reason they are not on the main payroll is that they'd be paid more as regular employees. Hospital saves money and has a degree of plausible deniability if things go wrong. Welcome to contract work. Yeah. Jobs seem to be going the way of the family farm, these days. Contracts and gigs are becoming increasingly common, instead, because they indemnify the firm against legal and financial liability for their employees. It's a big problem around the world, because it means we need to draft new laws and new regulations, but the kind of political unity needed for that just doesn't exist. So, for the time being, anarchy reigns, and the circumstances of ordinary people who rely on stable services will suffer for it. Gig economy is coming. Even for white-collar workers. Coming. Checking in from the tech job market in US, employers love to hire self-employed contractors. Walk out seems like an odd description for people who don't show up to work after their employer stops paying them. Why the hell did they come back after missing the second paycheck? Once, I could understand as an accounting or systems error. But if it's not fixed by the next pay period, I'd be off the job and calling the people who enforce wage theft laws. Because people working under these subcontractors are a bit desperate for work and will go to extreme lengths to show that they're good employees that's worth not firing. But even these people have their limits. Source, I used to be in a similar situation. I've seen people in that same situation just glad to even have work to do. Not even complaining about not getting paid, just straight up happy to be employed at all. That only lasts until you have to go grocery shopping though. Cleaning hospitals is a dangerous job during a pandemic. It's dangerous when not during a pandemic. All for £17,000 a year the nurses will be out on work to rule next TBF could you blame them putting their lives in the line for £25,000 don't start on what the doctors are going to have put up with the pressure on an already creaking NHS will be pretty intense then crematorium staff will stop. Army brought in, body stockpiling. God forbid it gets to the point of mass graves but who digs them when the grave diggers are sick? Fun fact, the nurses aren't allowed to strike, and their union would provide them no support if they decided to anyway. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.